Once upon a time. <coughs> Isn't that like the Dick's Me introduction? Oh my god, Salman, just let me do whatever I want to do. Besides, it's my line, not yours. Once upon a time, there lived two Draculas living in Transylvania. One called Count Dracula and Martha. They both fell in love at first sight and had two beautiful babies. They named them Mavis and Jonathan. But the dream of having a family together for eternity was vanished because of foolish humans that are selfish and arrogant. Those humans killed Martha. Now, Count Dracula needs to be responsible in taking care of his two beloved children. He couldn't think it was because the humans were still not satisfied with what they had done. So Drag sent his children to an orphanage. On his journey to protect them by sending them to the orphanage, he carried and hoped that his babies won't be recognized as monsters. He wrote a note saying, I love my babies, and if it were to send them to you was the best decision, then please take care of them. <laughs> oh my god, where did you hear that? You know the best coffee that I have tried before didn't actually come out from the Starbucks machine. So I think you should actually stop with that. I look cool with a Starbucks cup every time I get to work. Hey, that's me. I bought already using my money, so why do you even care? Go find a boyfriend to annoy you instead of me. Sorry, I'm in my independent era. I don't need a man to live. But you do you. Anyways, I'm gonna head to the hospital to check on my son allergy. Sucks being newing. <laughs> what could get worse? Oh, you wanna know what could get worse? You disappearing out of nowhere and couldn't even remember. How's that? Okay, enough stop. When are you guys going to grow up? By eating and arguing over whose sickness is the finest? Johnny, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, what's up? You know how mom always keeps files in her drawer? Well, one day I was trying to find my birth certificate and I saw that we were actually adopted. What are you blabbering about? Nonsense. Jonathan woke out of the room and laughed thinking she sister was joking about it. While everyone was asleep, maybe started doing a research about how she could have found her real parents. He discovered a site that could help her. The next morning, she decided to take a blood test and send it to the center. A few days passed, she got back her results. The paper states that there were no one who registered or shared the same blood as her, but the test specifically stated that there were only certain type of people who had the type of blood that it was during those times. Transylvania was the place. After settling down, later she decided to ask mom and dad permission to travel to Transylvania with Jonathan for vacation. Either to they or no, that she was trying to find his biological parents. A few days passed and the day they are on a home on the plane has come. The journey took two hours to finally the smell of the airport rushed into their nose. Little did Mavius know that the hotel she booked was actually Count Dracula Hotel. He built it after the incident that he lost his beloved wife. It was to project other monsters from humans but still published online since now. Monsters have phones to use a rented car to reach to the hotel that they are staying in. Even though it was a tough ride, Mavius was still able to go through it. Soon after they reached the destination, they saw Dracula walking by and decided to ask where to they get their keys. Dracula's face suddenly softened as he remembers she tried immediately but they couldn't feel a thing. It's at the reception, my dear. By the way, may I know your name? You look familiar. Oh, I'm Mavis and here's Jonathan. We're siblings. Alright, darling. A few days passed and they still couldn't find their biological parents. But one night, Mavis saw Jonathan sleepwalking to the rooftop. She followed him and without knowing anything, Johnny wanted to jump from the 5th floor building. Thankfully, Dracula saved him by turning into a bat and caught him. She was stunned. Drac saw her and decided to tell her the truth. She was happy indeed, and Drac taught her how he could also turn into a bat, and three of them flew together around Transylvania. Yet, they still couldn't forget mom and dad, so they gave them a call and told them everything. Everything went smoothly, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Mom and dad! I can't believe you're all here! Oh, I'm not a 